Hello, my beautifuls. Tawana Michelle here with Live Beautifully Natural. And today I am going to be doing my most used natural hair products of 2022. And I wasn't quite sure. This was a hard one for me because this year I was really loving a lot of natural hair products. And I found myself using the same ones over and over, but it was more than five. So what was hard for me was just kind of bringing it down to five products. I'm holding up 10 hands, but five products only. And I also had to double check my product empties box because I will be doing that. And I was like, yeah, I was right. I was spot on because some of these products that were my most used, I have in my empties, product empties box. So I am going to go ahead and show you my top five natural hair products. And I am going to count down from five to one. So my fifth favorite and most used, I guess it would be favorite and most used because I use it a lot because it was my favorite. This is the TGIN Honey Curls Custard. I did not finish this all and I will tell you why. There is a reason. So I used almost all of this, I guess about half of it. I absolutely love this for my wash and goes. So the reason I did not finish all of this product is that I stopped doing wash and goes for a little while in 2022. Um, I am still only doing them sparingly. I've been doing more twist outs, braid outs. I've been trying to wear my hair in extended styles more just to retain some length and health of the hair. Y'all know those knots, those fairy knots with those wash and goes, child. I just, I had to take a break. So if it were not for that, this would have been a product empty also. My fourth favorite natural hair product is a combination, y'all. And I'm going to tell you why it's a combination. Because I use them together all the time when I use them. And I could not determine which one. So this might be a bit of a cheat, which technically puts me at six most used natural hair products but hey th th listen hey this is a team right here this is a couple so we're gonna call them one this is the shea moisture red palm oil and cocoa butter leave-in conditioner i've used almost most of it it's about i guess a fourth of it left i would say and then i have the shea moisture red palm oil and cocoa butter curl stretch pudding right here now looking at no i was gonna say looking at how much i have of each um i may prefer one more than the other but it's not true i use them both i'll tell you why there's more of this gone let me show you how much of this is left this is almost gone as you can see i have hit pan on this it is almost gone y'all i love this this is an old product that's what i'm saying i don't think any of my most used natural hair products were new i am not a product junkie I found what I like, I found what works in my hair, and I repurchase that over and over. Some of these things I have a hard time finding. Like, I don't see this one everywhere. Um, there was another one by Shea Moisture. It's one of my favorite lines still. Um, there was another one that was like a, a coconut something with a yellow lid that I cannot find. It was on my favorites, but um, in 2022. I use this one more and this is a curl stretch pudding so I use this with my braid outs my twist outs um, and I use this as a leave-in conditioner before I put of course the styling cream now the reason I think there's more of this is because I use more of it when I re-moisturize so when I wash my hair on my hair wash day, which is weekly, and I put my leave-in conditioner only once. I don't go back in with the leave-in. And this is my third most used natural hair product, y'all. I have repurchased this probably twice. I will always repurchase this. This is the TGIN, uh, what is it called? Rose Water Curl Refresher Spray. I use this when I am wearing, mostly when I'm doing a wash and go and my hair feels dry. When I'm wearing a stretch style, I don't go in with this because um, it's not it's not very wet. It's water based, but when I'm stretching my hair, I don't want to add you know this type of liquid to it. 
I might spray it once with a little bit of water, but I'm not really going in with anything else that is water based like this, or at least in this water liquid form. But I love this. When I tell y'all, this refreshes my curls. This moisturizes my curls without disturbing them. I absolutely love this. This will always be in my natural hair product collection. If you know, you know, get your hands on this if you have not. And my second most used natural hair product is this MK Natural Organic Moisturizer. Y'all, I don't think this can be found in anybody's store. I want y'all to see how much of this I've used. Honey, I love this so, 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 so much. I got this from a black owned beauty supply store here in Houston. This company also sells their products online. Again, it's called MK Organic Moisturizer. If I can find their Instagram, I will put that on the screen so that you can take a look at it. Y'all, I love this. Now, I know a lot of people are moving away from oils and butters. Let me tell you, honey, I will never move away from oils and butters. They work for my hair. It doesn't work for everybody's hair. It works for my hair. I know that oils and butters alone are not moisturizing. You have to understand the purpose of them. The purpose of the oil and the butter is to seal the moisture in. Now, some folks say are saying that it doesn't even really do that. For my hair, it does. Um, also, it can cause product buildup, which I think is a lot of reason people may be moving away. So you only need a little, a little goes a long way. You only need it once. I do it only on wash day when I have my hair saturated with that water that I want to seal in. I want to seal in the water because the water is ultimately what moisturizes our hair and the oils and the butters just helps to keep that water sealed into that hair to maintain that moisture. So I love this. It is a mixture of all natural oils. Um, because it, I've had it all year and used it so much, um, the writing is almost wiped off, but I can see it a little. So the oils in here are organ oil, black seed oil, shea butter, peppermint oil, rosemary oil, coconut oil, biotin, and vitamin E all natural amazing oils and butters i love it um it smells good it kind of looks like it smells a little like shea butter too it looks like shea butter but it's got all these other oils so it's really soft and easy to use i love this stuff i will always repurchase this i need to get a new one i need to go on the instagram and order a new one or just go to the black owned beauty supply store here in houston which you're in the if you're in the houston area check it out can't think of the name of it right now, but if I do, I will put that on the screen as well. And last, but definitely not least, is this baby right here. Y'all, I love this so much. I'm always buying it every time I see it. This is the As I Am Classic Leave-In Conditioner. I have like three bottles full currently. I have maybe two in my product empties for 2022. Now, I use this a lot. It is my favorite leave-in conditioner to grab, and I will tell you why. How much of this has I used? Have I used? Um, I haven't used that much. I, I'm, I've used a little less than half of this. Um, but I did just reopen this bottle like maybe a couple months ago because I have so many and I, I go through them fast. This really keeps my hair soft, manageable, moisturized. It is light, so it doesn't weigh my hair down. Now, the other Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner that I love is heavier, it's thicker. So when I am wearing a twist out or a braid out and I want something heavy to weigh my hair down to stretch it, I will use a thicker, more cream-based leave-in conditioner. With my wash and goes, I will almost always go in with this. And even sometimes with my stretch styles, I'll go in with this. This is the leave-in conditioner that I reach for the most. It will always be in my natural hair product collection. I absolutely love this. It is amazing. I love all the Just As I Am products. I'm telling you, like they are not overrated to me in any way. They are amazing for my hair. So, you know, don't come for me. Anybody who is like, oh, I don't like that product. It don't work for me. Just, look, I get it because there are some products that are popular that people like and it just doesn't work for my hair. It's about finding what works for you and sticking with that. 
And if something works, it works and I will continue to use it. My number one most used, absolute favorite natural hair product, just as I am leave-in conditioner, I will always, always, always have this. So let me know in the comment section down below, what are you guys' most used natural hair products of 2022? Also, this is not officially a tag or anything, but if you wanna do a video showing your most used natural hair products of 2022, I'd love to check that out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel. Share it out with others who you think may benefit, who have natural hair, who are interested in what are some good products that work. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, girl, what are you waiting on? I'd love to have you be a part of this community. I can't talk. Be a part of this community. And thank you guys so much. For really. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.